This is the back stitch. I already have some done here. Uh, when I do the back stitch, I like to go very quickly. And I found the best way, well, I stitch this way all the time anyway, but the best way to do it is to loosen your fabric up in the hoop a little tiny bit. And then that way, um, when you get this rocking motion going, you can push up with your fingers on the back, pu push up on the needle. I'm gonna go down about an eighth of an inch from where I started and then rock back up farther on the line, that same distance. And then go down in the same hole and rock back farther up on the line. Go in the same hole and rock back farther up on the line. You just get that rocking motion going, which I loosened my fabric up too much in the hoop. You'll know right away when you've done it. As long as you hit the same hole, so you don't have little gaps in between, you're doing real good. Stay on the line that's traced if you're, if you're working on a traced line. I'm not real big on them being exactly the same um, length. Helps if they're close, but I think you can ask too much of yourself in wanting them to be the same length. Another thing is, um, it's easy to see when you're too long, but a lot of people will try to make them too short, I believe, because uh, you end up with all the floss either going down in a hole or coming out of a hole and nothing sitting up on top of the fabric. So I think it looks better if you lengthen it out just a little bit rather than having them too short. Besides, you don't want it to look machine, machine stitched. That's about the size of it. That's the back stitch.